morning everybody I would say good morning but this guy is here my truck decided that it didn't want to start this morning so it's not a very good morning now don't get me wrong this guy's a really nice guy and I'm really glad he's here but my truck has a warning system and it failed me. It's supposed to warn me when my battery levels are getting low so that I can start the truck before my batteries are dead. I had edited five vlogs yesterday, five, and I was rendering them overnight. Now it takes a lot of battery power to render a vlog, not to mention five. And I had my computer plugged in all night, not thinking anything of it, right? I didn't think, I didn't think it took that much power. Apparently it does. It drained my battery. And by the time the alarms went off in here saying that, hey, you better wake up, Trucker Josh. Your batteries are getting low. You might not be able to start this thing. By the time those alarms went off, it was already too late and I couldn't start this and the batteries were dead. So uh, the guy here from Dawn's Towing in Kamloops came to save the day. I'm glad he's here, I'm, but I'm not glad he's here at the same time. I'm glad he's here, but I'm not glad why he's here. That makes sense why I'm... I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is how my day started. So I'm not too sure how much this boost is going to cost yet. He just had to come here pretty much hook up his booster cables. I needed just the slightest little boost. Probably could have boosted it with like a, a smart car. That's how little extra boost I needed. If only I had a, a booster pack. Now I'm going to have to invest into a booster pack that I can have with me just in case this happens again so that I can boost myself next time instead of having to pay someone to come out. Though, you know, this guy needs to put food on the table for his family too, so, you know. In the end, we all need to eat, so he needs work too. I just gave him work to do this morning. <laughs> I didn't want to give him work to do though. Uh, but thank you to the people at Dawn's Towing and this guy specifically here who came out to save the day, otherwise I'd be stuck here. I was starting to get cold already. My bunk heater was still working, but it was the fan was running pretty low already and it wouldn't be long and that would shut off too. Anyways, what a way to start the day. One heavy boost. $88.20 after tax. There he goes. Thanks, bud, for saving the day. Can't believe it. Can't believe this happened. This has never happened to me. I'm trying to save fuel. Now, all of the money that I was trying to save in fuel by not idling my truck through the night just got spent into boosting my truck because I didn't idle it through the night and my battery died. Oh, trucking. Trucking. Nothing ever goes right. Well, I'm going back to bed now that this thing's running. I'll be in a better mood when I wake up, I hope. Maybe I'll have some good dreams. So you guys want to get into trucking, do you? <laughs> have fun. Have fun. I'm having fun. Look at me. This is fun. This, 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 this is fun. Buy a booster pack so that you can boost your truck if you need to. Make sure it's strong enough to boost a semi-truck. You got to get a heavy-duty one. They do make them. You just charge them like at home or something, so they're all charged up. And when something dumb like this happens, hook her on up and you save yourself $88. Well, better get this day started. I slept a little while longer yet. And now I'm a little further behind than I wanted to be. A little more tired than I wanted to be. But I learnt one of the limits of this truck tonight. I can't have my computer on rendering videos through the night because it will kill the battery. Silly me. I'm just backing out of my spot right now. And then I'm going to go and uh, move a little closer to the building, go grab a coffee. And we'll be on our way up to Barrier, BC. Gotta go pick up that lumber yet, and tarp it, and go home. Apparently there's a big snowstorm at home today. Uh, we'll talk about that later. For now, I'm just moving across the parking lot. 
hence why I know I'm gonna get all the comments. But you see, Pilhound Trucker Jack, literally moving across the parking lot because I'm lazy and I don't want to walk across the entire lot, only half the lot. I'm gonna park right here. I think this is a parking spot. It is now. Look at that, a parking spot. Another day, another page, the book of life. Not that book of life, but my own book of life, my life. We got another, uh, still about a half hour to go. I think I'm a little extra tired today because I did go to the gym yesterday and uh, did strength training. I'm always tired, or I tired the next day after that as my body recovers. But remember the first time I was telling you guys when I went and I first worked out my arms like in a long time, that was in Michigan. And my arms hurt for three days. <laughs> well now I can already lift a lot more weight and my arms don't hurt like that the next day. They're just tired and a little not tense, they're a little uh, a little stiff, I guess, gotta stretch them a little bit, but they don't hurt like they did, which is good, which means my body's gotten used to working, which is what it's meant to do. Oh, we got a pedestrian here. Pedestrian! Didn't see you there, buddy. It'd be nice if you'd put on a reflective vest, but it's okay. So that, that's a good thing I can report, is that my body is now used to uh, working out. And I don't have to worry about you know, not being able to move the next day. I'm just a little more tired as I recover. But The next time we can make it to a gym is tomorrow, I'm assuming, in either Calgary or... I think the next one after Calgary is all the way out in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. The one we stopped at, that small one we stopped at on the way out here. I only have a membership at Snap Fitness uh, because they're on both sides of the border, that's why I picked them. But I can only go to the ones where I can get my truck close to so I can park my truck and trailer without getting a ticket. So far I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. It's giving me more energy, making me feel better about myself. And my body is more prepared for you know, challenges I throw at it here at work, right? I'm constantly lifting tarps up onto the load, strapping down loads, chaining loads. I haven't had the chain in a while, but you know, the loads will come. Eventually I'll have to use my chains again. They're pretty heavy chains. You know, when my when my muscles weren't used to it, you know, that, would, that would take quite a toll on my body. Now I'm hoping that now that I'm training my body a little bit more, that those tasks in my regular day-to-day -day work life will be a lot easier. came to boost me that there was nobody right beside me but when I had called them there was a guy there and what they had said was well if they can't reach my batteries on my truck from behind me because the closest they could get to my truck is the back of my trailer then right because I nosed in 
they may have to actually disconnect all my brakes because or if I couldn't release my brakes if I didn't have enough air pressure which I did but worst case scenario you know maybe you got a pin pin leak of a, an air leak and you don't have enough air pressure to release all your brakes you'd have to disconnect your brakes and actually pull your truck get a big rig tow truck to pull your truck out of the parking spot just so that they can get to your batteries to boost you either that or they can try with a booster pack uh, but if the booster pack doesn't work that's the only other option they got to pull you out of your spot so they can get to your batteries and actually put the cables onto your batteries so that's a risk I'd never thought of before. So now I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna nose into a parking spot again. What if my batteries drain on me again by accident like they did today? And then that's a whole other cost because then you gotta get the big rig guy out there to come out and disconnect all the brakes and everything, pull you out of there, boost you. It's, it'd be a lot more than $88, we'll, we'll say that. So it does give you a quiet night, and I'm not against people nosing into spots, as long as they can back out clearly into an open space. If that's what you want to do, go for it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. I was very lucky that the guy beside me left before the guy got there, so we didn't have to worry about that. Things to think about, things to think about. Another lesson learned by Trucker Josh, another lesson. I keep learning new things. Wonder what we're gonna learn today. I've also been experimenting with adjusting my speed. Now my truck is limited to about 65 miles an hour, maybe just a little less. But I found if I go from 65 down to 55 miles an hour, so that's about 105 kilometers an hour down to 90 kilometers an hour, I save myself on average five liters per 100 kilometers. I'm not too sure how many miles per gallon that is. But what it translates to with current diesel prices, that translates to about $60 a day that I save. Guesstimate how many days approximately you drive and I save myself around $900 a month just by slowing down. That's $900 that's just in my pocket that was just going to be burned away before. Technically, it had been allocated just for fuel, for energy, right? But now, it's in my pocket. Well, this is beautiful here. Wow, look at this. Fancy. Cool. So I've been experimenting with that. Just slowing down. Uh, I have a friend, John White. Uh, he used to be my roommate, actually. You guys might remember him. I remember he drives truck too, and I remember he was adamant that he would only drive 90 kilometers an hour, 55 miles an hour, every day, all day. That's all he drove. Drove me nuts because we could never drive together because I didn't want to drive that slow. Uh, people who drove that slow always annoyed me, even though there was a perfectly good passing lane that I could just go around them. So I don't know why it would annoy me so much, but look at me now. I'm starting to see the cost benefits of what he was doing. $900 a month just by slowing down. I mean, yes, it does take you longer to get from point A to point B. That, that is one of the, the drawbacks. And I'm not gonna do 90 kilometers an hour on a two lane highway all day because that's annoying for the people who are behind me who can't get past. But if it's a four lane highway and uh, I have extra time people can get around me there's not a lot of traffic I'm testing it out you now just to to see what the difference will be actually at the end of the month I'm keeping track of my fuel economy right now ever since my uh, my engine gave me little problems there the other day with the, the oil leak I've been paying close attention to everything I mean I was before but now I'm like extra close attention I want to know what this truck is doing what it's thinking what it's feeling and I want to know how to get every single nickel out of it. I think one of the best ways of making money is not spending it in the first place. Does that make sense? 
If you don't spend the money, you get to keep the money. If you don't burn the fuel, you don't have to pay for the fuel. It's a beautiful system we got going on here. If you think about it, if I reduce my idling, which I was spending $1,000 a month on, let's say let's reduce it by like 60% at least, maybe I'm only spending, uh, let's highball like $500 a month idling. Even if we just save like four or $500. Plus, saving the fuel from just going a little slower when we have extra time, and I could have well over a thousand dollars extra. I could have like fifteen hundred dollars extra. Kilometers. Turn left on Kamloops Street. Kamloops turn Street, eh? We're just getting here to bury you. I got to pick up the load here. But yeah, I could have like fifteen hundred dollars extra a month. It adds up. Like fuel is expensive. If you find ways not to burn it and still deliver your freight on time, you can almost make more money doing that than actually delivering the freight. Does that make sense? Sure is beautiful out here. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful. I wonder if people who live in BC know how lucky they are to live in BC. <laughs> So here's my load. I don't know what's going on up there. Huh. I guess the wind will blow it over. I can't reach it. All the way to the back here. We're pretty much maxed out for US weights. Gotta take all of this all the way to Wisconsin. A three day drive, 3,000 kilometers. What does the sign say here? Overlanders of 1862. It had been an epic struggle against the wilderness for the gold seekers from eastern Canada. They had crossed the Rockies, trekked through the pathless forests, won the swift rapids of the North Thompson River. The open country now offered hope and safe passage. Ragged and starved, they reached Kamloops, where many became pioneer farmers. That's cool. Who's that, Chevy? Who's that? I don't know! Some dude. Looks pretty cool though. Probably my, probably would be my friend. I'd be his friend. <laughs> we just made it to uh, Sycamus, British Columbia last night and parked here. I'm just getting up in the morning. I was so tired at the end of the I don't know what it was yesterday, but man, I was tired. We didn't get very far at all, but now we have the next three days to drive about 26, 2700 kilometers, which is about 27 hours of driving. I'll be recapping hours, but uh, I'll be able to make it. We'll deliver first thing Monday morning and we'll see what they have for us from there. Probably back for some more glass, I'm guessing, and probably coming back to BC. I don't know. All I know is I'm gonna keep moving as long as this truck will let me. But thanks for watching today on this short little video, short little day. It's always beautiful coming through British Columbia. I say that over and over when I'm out here, but it just, I'm a prairie boy. It still blows me away every time. And then I get tired of it because the roads really suck going through the mountains there, through the Rockies. Then I go home for a while into the prairies and then, you know, I kind of miss it and I come back and the whole thing starts all over again. It's alright. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I make a new video every day. Some are longer than others. Some are longer than this one. I promise. Go, go take a look. There's like 2,200 videos I've made on the internet already. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm addicted to making videos. <laughs>